Good day, grade and learners. I am Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about how to solve problems involving polynomial functions. Are you ready? But before we start, kindly prepare your self learning module, your pen, and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solves problems involving polynomial functions so how to solve word problems involving polynomial functions solving means finding the roots a root or zero is where the function is equal to zero word problems involving polynomials are often related to basic geometry Translate a word problem into a familiar equation or expression, then solve. As of right now, you should know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide polynomials. So when we look at word problems, they will only be asking you to add, subtract, multiply, or divide polynomials. The trickier part is figuring out which they want you to use. Fortunately, the problems usually deal with shapes, which can help clue us in on what to use. If it references perimeter, chances are you need to use addition or subtraction. If references area or volume, chances are you need to use multiplication and division. Let's take a look at some examples. Example number one. The members of a group of packaging designers of a gift shop are looking for a precise procedure to make an open rectangular box with a volume of 560 cubic inches from a 24-inch by 18-inch rectangular piece of material. The main problem is how to identify the side of identical squares to be cut from the four corners of the rectangular sheet so that such box can be made. The question or task is, suppose you are chosen as the leader and you are tasked to lead in solving the problem, what will you do to meet the specifications needed for the box? Show a mathematical solution. The figure below can help us solve the word problem. As mentioned in the given problem, we have a 24-inch by 18-inch rectangular piece of material. And let's say that the measurement of the side of the identical squares to be cut from the four corners of the rectangular sheet is x. Therefore, if we are going to form the open rectangular box, the value of height is x and the width of the box is 18 minus 2x and the length of the box is 24 minus 2x. And since we are talking about the volume of a rectangular box, our forking equation is length times width times height. So the value of length is 24 minus 2x, and the value of width is 18 minus 2x, and the height is x. And of course, the volume mentioned in the given problem is 560. So 24 minus 2x multiplied to 18 minus 2x multiplied to x will give us 4x raised to 3 minus 84x raised to 2 plus 432x equals to 560. Then transposing 560, we have 4x raised to 3 minus 84x squared plus 432x minus 560 equals 0. And since all the coefficients together with the constant term are divisible by 4, we divide both sides by 4. And that will give us x raised to 3 minus 21x squared plus 108x minus 140 equals 0. 
and the factored form of x raised to 3 minus 21x squared plus 108x minus 140 is x minus 2 multiplied to x minus 5 multiplied to x minus 14. The values of x are 2, 5, and 14. But to meet the requirements, the height of the box is either 2 inches or 5 inches, but will result in the volume of 560 cubic inches. In this problem, it is impossible to produce a box if the height is 14 inches. So x equals 14 is not a solution because the original material is only 24 inch by 18 inch. Let's take a look at another example. In example number 2, you are designing candle making kits. Each kit contains 25 cubic inches of candle wax and a mold for making a pyramid shaped candle with a square base. You want the height of the candle to be 2 inches less than the edge of the base. The question or task would be, what should the dimension of your candle mold be? Show a mathematical procedure in determining the dimensions. In this problem, let x be the side of the square base of the pyramid. So, the area of the base or b is equal to b which is equal to x raised to 2. And the height of the pyramid as mentioned in the given word problem, it should be 2 inches less than the edge of the base. So we have h which is equal to x minus 2. And since we are talking about the volume of a square base pyramid, our working equation would be b which is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied to the area of the base multiplied to the height of the pyramid. Substituting the values of the area of the base and height of the pyramid, we have b which is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied to x raised to 2 multiplied to x minus 2. And the volume of the square base pyramid is mentioned in the given word problem, so we substitute 25. And by cross multiplying, we will be having 25 multiplied to 3, so we write 75. And we multiplied x raised to 2 and x minus 2, we have x raised to 3 minus 2x raised to 2. And transposing 75, we have 0, which is equal to x raised to 3 minus 2x raised to 2 minus 75. And the factored form of x raised to 3 minus 2x raised to 2 minus 75 is x minus 5 multiplied to the quantity x raised to 2 plus 3x plus 15. And for this word problem, the only real solution to the equation is 5. So the side of the square base is 5 inches long and the height of the pyramid is 3 inches. And that's how you solve word problems involving polynomial functions. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinic episode.